Coming at you from the Horseshoe Falls, I'm Gunnarola, and today Pop Wiz is in Niagara. Check it out. Let's do this, Canada. One of Canada's most iconic natural attractions, Niagara Falls is a sight to behold. It's one of our most popular destinations with over 20 million visitors each year. 154 million liters of water rushes over the edge of the falls every minute. It's majestic, breathtaking, and a national treasure. Hey Canada, this is Pop Wiz, Canada's traveling pop culture game show. In round one, contestants enter the quiz cube and are asked a series of questions. The top five contestants from round one move on to round two, where they'll be asked a new series of questions. From there, the top two contestants move on to round three, where they'll meet me, your host, Gunnarola, and compete to see who will be the Pop Wiz. Niagara Falls, it's time to find out who's going to be today's Pop Wiz champion. Let's meet our contestants. Hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm 15 years old. I'm currently playing Alice in the musical production of Alice in Wonderland, and I'm double jointed. My name is Bridget, and I am 17 years old. I consider myself to be a pop culture aficionado. Hi, I'm Isabel. I'm 13, and I play lots of instruments. I do cosplays and stuff. I also have my ocarina with me now. <laughs> Hi, my name is Malik. I'm 17. I get pretty competitive. I try to beat my parents. I try to beat my brother. I try to beat anybody who gets in my way. I'm Ruby, and I'm 17. I was on my high school's trivia team, and I love pop culture. I met Taylor Swift uh, when she came for the Toronto International Film Festival, and I waited outside for, I think, four and a half hours. Hi, my name's Max. I'm 16 years old. I'm super confident. I already planned an after party after this, so, uh... That's all you need to know about me. I'm going to win this. My name is Daniel. I'm 14 years old. I love basketball, and I love listening to music. Hello, guys. My name is Caitlin. I'm 13 years old. My favorite celebrity is Jennifer Lawrence, and my talent goes hand in hand with that. I really like to do archery, just like Katniss Everdeen. Hello. My name is Zane. I'm 13 years old, and I am really good at Rubik's Cubes. Welcome to Pop Wiz. You have entered the quiz cube, where you will be asked a series of 10 questions. When I finish asking the question, you will only have a few seconds to answer. If you get a question right, you'll get five points. If you get a question wrong, you'll get zero points. But if you don't answer or pass before I start asking the next question, you will lose three points. Have fun and make sure to answer all questions. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. I'm so ready, mysterious voice. Looney Tunes cartoons features the character Bugs. What kind of animal is he? A bunny. A bunny. A bunny. He's a bunny. He's a bunny. Bugs Bunny is a bunny. A bunny. The correct answer is Bunny Rabbit. Which star of Wednesday inspired a dance on TikTok also called Wednesday? Jenna Ortega. Jenna Ortega. Zoe Kravitz. Jenna Ortega. Jenna Ortega. Jenna Ortega? Yes. The correct answer is Jenna Ortega. In what sport does someone play the position quarterback? Football. 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 American football. Uh, football. American football. American football. Football. The correct answer is football. Name the activity where people sing along to instrumental versions of songs. Karaoke. 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 The correct answer is karaoke. Name the Canadian with a massive social media following who sings the song, Beautiful Love. Celine Dion. Justin Bieber. Shania Twain. Drake. Justin Bieber. Taylor Swift. The correct answer is Justin Bieber. What food are Popeye's restaurants most commonly known for? Chicken. Uh, fried chicken. Spinach. Chicken? Chicken sandwich. The correct answer is chicken. 
Let It Go is a song from which Disney animated movie? Frozen. 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 The correct answer is Frozen. Wakanda Forever is the sequel to which MCU movie? Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther? Yes. The correct answer is Black Panther. Name the singer who released a remix version of Die For You with Ariana Grande. The Weeknd. Britney Spears. Uh, Jojo Siwa? Drake? The Weeknd. No, Ed Sheeran. <laughs> the Weeknd, yeah. I was listening to that this morning. The correct answer is The Weeknd. In a standard PGA golf tournament, how many holes are in one round? 12. 18? 7. 18? I think 12 or something. I don't know much golf. 30. 18. The correct answer is 18. Time's up. Thanks for playing. I think I did pretty good. I think I'm moving on to the next round. Honestly, easier. I was so nervous. I did good. Got the questions out quickly. Um, I was really confident, and um, I think I think I could move on to round two. Nine out of ten. You know, I came in here knowing I was gonna win. Did amazing. On to the next. I think I hit my target today. Welcome back, and what's the name of the show? Pop Wiz! One more time. Pop Wiz! So loud that the Americans can hear us. What's the name of the show? Pop Wiz! That's right. That's the end of round one. How we feel about that? Good. Great. Max, you're pretty cool, confident, still feeling that? OK. And Isabel, elf ears, did they help at all? No. OK. <laughs> well, five of you will be moving on to round two. And those five contestants, in no particular order, as verified by our judge, are Max. Didn't even move. Didn't even move. He knew. He knew. Ruby. The third person moving on. Malik. And next, we have a tie between Charlotte, Isabel, and Daniel. Which means it's time for our tiebreaker question. Two contestants who come closest to the correct answer, high or low, will move on to the next round. Ready? Yep. Here's your question. Geologically speaking, Niagara Falls is actually quite young. How many thousands of years old is the waterfall estimated to be? Time's up. Charlotte? 3,000. Daniel, also 3,000. And Isabel, 1,000. The correct answer, 12,000, which means that Charlotte and Daniel, you're moving on. <laughs> Round two of Pop Wiz is coming up. I'm in front of what is probably the world's most famous waterfall right here in Niagara Falls, and I'm gonna get up close and personal with the help of Niagara City Cruises. Ahoy, Alicia. Ahoy, Andrew. You work with Niagara City Cruises. I'm so excited to get on the water. What can I expect today? How close are we gonna get to the falls? You're gonna get about 100 meters from the base of the falls. The boat trip is 20 minutes long. How much water is that? Uh, there's about 3 million liters going over every second. Every second? Every second. All right, so there's a good chance I might get a little wet, right? You're gonna get a little wet. Luckily, I came prepared. You managed the dock. Mm -hmm. How do you get that job? Uh, I started as a deckhand and just kind of worked my way up, then a captain. How many people do you think have passed through on their voyage to the falls? We just surpassed 15 million passengers. That's a lot of people. Remember all their names? Of course. You'll remember mine. Yes. OK. <laughs> Who's the most famous person that's gone through? I would say Adam Sandler. He's been twice. Twice? Twice. Did you laugh a lot that day? Yes. <laughs> yes. Naturally. Uh, Andrew, we got to get going. Right. Don't want them to leave without me. I'm gonna look great in red. How do I look? Oh my gosh!
Alright, that was so fun. There is no better way to get that close to the falls. But this, not needed. Do be prepared to get a little wet. I'm gonna go dry off because there's more pop quiz to come. I think being in a tiebreaker was very nerve wracking because uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it, especially since there was three of us. My strategy was the same as last time, to win the whole thing. I think the competition's been pretty good. They all seem to know a lot as well. I am feeling confident, even more confident than round one because I've made it to round two. I've been kind of validated, you know, and with my pop culture trivia abilities. And yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty optimistic. I think the competition's quite tough out there. I think I'm gonna have to like work hard if I wanna move on. They're all pretty smart. Welcome to Pop Whiz round two. You will be asked a series of 10 new questions. Are you ready? Yup. Yes. 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 Complete the title of the Disney series where Dipper and Mabel investigate magical oddities, Blank Falls. Uh, Frozen. Niagara Falls. Gravity. Uh, uh, I don't know, Frozen? Gravity. The correct answer is Gravity. To celebrate releasing 1989, what popular social media star and recording artist invited fans over to her house? Ariana Grande. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Oh. Taylor Swift. I'm not sure who Taylor Swift. The correct answer is Taylor Swift. In 2010, the account, at Kevin, posted the first ever photo on Instagram. What animal was in that picture? A cat. Dog. Uh, a dog? An elephant. An elephant. The correct answer is dog. In motor racing, what type of flag is waved at the finish line to indicate the winner? A uh, checkered flag. White. Green? A checkered flag? A checkered flag? The correct answer is checkered flag. What pop and country singer shared a double life with Hannah Montana? Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I don't know, I never watched the movie yet. Uh... That's sure. Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. The correct answer is Miley Cyrus. Everything is awesome in what animated movie featuring the character Emmett Brakowski as a construction worker? The Lego Movie. The Lego Movie. The Lego Movie. Bob the Builder. The Lego Movie. The correct answer is The Lego Movie. Before Noah Beck was a TikTok star, what sport did he play as a member of the Portland Pilots? Soccer. Baseball? Soccer. Soccer. I'm not in. The correct answer is soccer. What board game features five resources? Grain, wool, brick, ore, and lumber. Catan? Monopoly. Monopoly. Catan? Um. The correct answer is Settlers of Catan. Popular social media personality Brett Rivera has a sister. What is her name? Lexi Rivera, I think. Lexi. Jenna, whatever. Olivia Rivera. Pierre. The correct answer is Lexi or Alexa. Which Canadian actor said, like Beyonce, I excel as a solo artist in his iconic role as David Rose? Justin Bieber. Dan Levy. Michael Jackson. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. The correct answer is Dan Levy. Time's up. Thanks for playing. Well, not as good as last time, but it's OK. I still, I still believe that I'll make it to the next round. I feel pretty good about that one. Uh, I think I could have done a bit better, but I, I tried my best. Um, hopefully, that round was as hard for me as it was for others. I don't think that round one is good. It was definitely harder than last time. I don't think I'm moving on to the next round, but I'm going to be confident and convince myself that I am. Round two is done. 
How we feel about that? Bad. Bad? OK, Malik, was that what you expected? It was definitely harder than round one. OK. That's for sure. That's for sure. Ruby, what do you thought? It was harder, but still good. OK. Harder, but the same. Harder, but the same. Our top two finalists moving on to our final round and who have won $250 are Ruby. And our second finalist, Malik. Congratulations, Ruby and Malik. You're moving on to our final round where you compete for an additional $500. Let's see how well Niagara knows their pop culture trivia. I'm going to guess you're not from here, but visiting from... <laughs> Oklahoma. Oklahoma. So we've got Niagara Falls. What does Oklahoma have? Tornadoes. 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 All right, yeah. we've got the American Falls there and the Canadian Falls there. Which one do you like better? Canadian. Canadian. How's your pop culture trivia? Uh, we'll find out. OK. <laughs> if you can't be right, be creative. creative. All right, here we go. <laughs> Which famous movie superhero saved a boy who fell into the falls by catching and saving him? Superman. Superman? Superman? I don't know. Superman? Uh, that sounds Superman. Right. Superman. 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 It sounds like Superman. Superman. Superman? Sure? Yeah. That's correct! Which inventor who has a car named after him designed the very first hydroelectric power plant right here in Niagara Falls? My guy yes. Tesla, Tesla, Nikolai? Tesla? Yeah, we go with Tesla. Tesla? Tesla. Yeah. I don't know. I have no clue. There's a statue of him here. Tesla? Tesla. Tesla? Tesla? Final answer? I had no answer. It's... I'll go with this. Tesla's hey! correct. OK, two for two, two for two. We're doing speaking of Tesla. Elon Musk was the inspiration for the movie version of which Marvel superhero? Maybe Iron Man. Elon I... Musk. No, Iron Man. Doctor. Oh. Who? I'm just going to go with Iron Man. No, oh, it must be Car Man. Is it Car Man? Yeah, we think it's Car Man. Car Marvel superhero <laughs> Car Man. Car <laughs> Man. Strange. Strange Love. Iron Man. That's correct. It's time for our head-to-head -head round, where our two finalists who have already won $250 each will compete for an additional $500 in the title of Pop Quiz Champion. One by one, we brought our contestants into the quiz cube and asked them the same five questions. First question is worth one point and goes up to five points for the fifth and final question. Who will be our pop quiz today? And do you think you could do better than our contestants? Play along at home and find out. Ruby, Malik, welcome to the final round. What's going on in your head right now? I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I didn't think I would make it past round two when I did, so that's kind of assured me, so I'm feeling pretty good. How do you feel about having won $250? I am feeling ecstatic. I feel good, yeah. And Ruby, if Taylor Swift were here right now, what kind of advice do you think she'd give you? I think Taylor Swift would probably tell me just to shake it off. Malik, you've been on stage. How does that compare to making a TV show? When I did my play, um, I didn't have a lot of lines. And um, it, it was definitely not improv. This is improv, because I don't know what's coming at me. How do you feel about going up against Malik? I feel good. We, like, we've kind of become buddies, so I'm nervous to compete against him, but yeah. How do you feel about going up against Ruby? Uh, Ruby is very smart. She knows her stuff. Let's get started. Question one. There are two letters in a standard Scrabble game that are each worth 10 points. Name one of them. Zed. Zed. Question two. Canadian Marie-Philippe Poulain is nicknamed Captain Clutch as an athlete for what sport? Hockey. Hockey. Question three. Which Disney Pixar film stars Jamie Foxx as Joe Gardner, a piano player from New York City? Toy Story. <laughs> Soul. Question four. What is the first and last name of the judge from Canada's Got Talent whose Instagram handle is at Lily? Lily Singh. Lily Singh. And question five. Name the Niagara-born DJ known for performing while wearing an oversized mouse helmet. Marshmallow. <laughs> Dead mouse? And those are your questions. 
That's it for our final round. You can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Go ahead, yes? OK. Questions are done, but I do have one for you now. Ruby, was that what you expected? I think it was what I expected, yeah. OK. Malik? I think that was actually, for me, easier than round two. Confidence. I like it. Well, I have in my hand the name of this episode's winner, Niagara Falls. Your pop whiz champion is... Malik! Congratulations! Thank you. All right, made it to the very end. You won $250, $750. How are you feeling? Great. Phenomenal. I'm feeling super happy, super proud of myself. I didn't think I would make it this far, but I proved myself wrong. This experience was so fun. I didn't think I'd get this chance, but I did. I'm here now, and I'm so happy. I'm Niagara's Pop Wish champion. Thanks for watching Canada. We'll see you next time. We need a winner's song. And it's going to go like this. We are the winners today. today. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs>